Hi, this is Kayla from CheapHumidors.com, and today we're going to go over the simple steps on how to set up your new humidor. Now, when most people get their new humidors, they're super excited to put their new sticks in there. But if you do that, the cedar is going to end up absorbing all the moisture from your cigars, in effect, destroying the purpose of your humidor. See, most humidors come lined in kiln-drying cedar, so the humidity level in your new humidor is going to be about 10%. So first, what you want to do is set up your humidor properly. The first step in this is to calibrate your hygrometer. So we've got a front-mounted hygrometer and an internally mounted hygrometer. For the internal mount hygrometers, you want to make sure that you take off this rubber grommet because this hygrometer will read humidity from these little holes on the side. So you can either Calibrate your hygrometer using an easy step calibration kit. They're made by Bovita. They're super easy. You just throw your hygrometer inside, seal it up, and wait 8 to 12 hours. If you didn't get an easy calibration kit, you can also use the salt test method. So, again, take off that rubber grommet. And for the salt test method, you're going to need a Ziploc bag, table salt, and a small bottle cap. So you're going to fill the bottle cap with table salt. And you're going to get that table salt wet. So you don't want salt water, you want just wet, pasty salt. So you put that inside the Ziploc bag along with your hygrometer and you seal it up again for about 8 to 12 hours. At the end of that time, it should be reading 75% humidity. If it's not, you just take it out and you can adjust it using this adjustment screw in the back. You can use just a small screwdriver and you just turn. So for the front mount, you want to make sure that you put that rubber grommet back on because that is what creates the seal. And if you use the calibration kit, you're going to do the same adjustment process using the screwdriver. And if you have the internally mounted hygrometer, you're not going to put that rubber grommet back on. Now that you've calibrated your hygrometer, you're going to season your humidor. So, a lot of people think that they should wipe down the inside cedar with distilled water. We recommend that you don't do this. If you end up wiping it down and you spill water, or if you just wipe it down too, with too much water, you're going to end up with warped cedar, which will compromise the integrity of your seal. Instead, we recommend a very slow, steady, acclimation of the cedar to the humidity. So you can either use a Bovita Easy Seasoning Kit and you just put it in and you close up your humidor for 7 to 14 days. Now if you don't have a Bovita Easy Seasoning Kit, you can use a new sponge. Make sure it's a new sponge because you don't want to introduce any impurities to your new humidor. So you just get it moist with distilled water and you put it, you can either use a uh, Tupperware container like this or you can put it on top of aluminum foil or just anything to make sure that the sponge doesn't come in direct contact with the cedar. So you put your sponge inside and the same thing, you close your humidor and you let it sit for 7 to 14 days. At the end of this time, it should be reading about 80% humidity. At that time, you open up your humidor, and now you have to fill your humidifier. So, you can fill your humidifier either using distilled water or activator solution. If you use water and you're not activator solution, make sure you use distilled water. 
If you use tap water or bottled water, it has impurities and added minerals that will build up and end up destroying your humidifier over time. So, you take your activator solution or distilled water and pour it through the grate. And you're going to keep pouring until it will no longer absorb any moisture. And sometimes it'll actually take a couple of minutes for it to absorb. We recommend that you use activator solution, which is a mixture of distilled water and propylene glycol. And the propylene glycol will make it so that the humidity is released more slowly, so you don't have that big spike in humidity when you introduce your humidifier. So after it has absorbed as much moisture as it will, flip it over on a towel or a paper towel and make sure all the excess moisture drains out. So otherwise you're going to spread it all over your humidor. Once it's all drained out, you place your humidifier back in your humidor and close it up. And you wait about 24 hours. After that 24 hours, it should be reading anywhere between 68% humidity and 72% humidity. If it's reading higher, then you just let your humidor sit open for about 12 hours. So any excess humidity will leave. If it's not reading high enough, then you just reseason it. Once it is reading 68 to 72% humidity, then you can add your cigars. I'm Kayla from cheaphumidors.com and this is how to set up your humidor.